NBC's hugely popular hit show, The Office, officially achieved cult status this past weekend. Thousands of diehard fans descended on the town of Scranton, Pennsylvania, home of the TV show's fictional company, for a huge convention celebrating the Oscars. Tim Estilos has more. You are creative. You are damn creative, each and every one of you. You are so much more creative than all of the other dry, boring morons that you work with. Who are you talking to, specifically? I kind of know what it's like to be in commercials. My nickname in high school used to be Kool-Aid Man. First of all, Angela and Brian, we are so happy to have you here on Backstage. It looks like you're having a great deal of fun there in Scranton. Oh, We're having a great, great amount of fun. The fans here are amazing. Say hi, you guys. They've been here for like three hours while we've been doing <laughs> interviews. Now, preparing for this interview, Angela, I found out, or at least I had read, I hope it's true, that you auditioned for the role of Pam to begin with. I did. I know it's, it's very hard for people to imagine me as Pam, but I auditioned for the role of Pam, and uh, I remember there was a line that um, later when I saw Jenna do it as Pam so perfectly that people felt bad for her. It's when Michael pretended to fire her, and she calls him a jerk, and everyone's like, oh, but when I called him a jerk in the audition, everyone laughed, because I guess I really gave it to him. So they said that I wasn't quite Pam, but they thought I was in the world of the show. They just thought I was a little too feisty. So uh, when they got the role of the bitch, they gave me a call. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're definitely not showing that now. It's definitely not typecasting. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised. I bet Jim goes, too. Yeah, I haven't asked him yet. Oh, I bet you ask. I was planning on it. I bet you were. Angela, are you coming? I can't. Sprinkles is sick. She's been sick for some time. Thank you for asking. No one asks about Sprinkles. What do you guys enjoy most about your own personal characters as this has developed over the years? Oh, wow, good question. Um, you know, uh, uh, well, it's, it, it's an interesting question because I think, you know, in, in a lot of ways, all of the characters have changed, have changed a lot, but it's, it's part of the sh it's part of, again, that the growth. The evolving of the, the show. Yeah, the show evolving and having more time that you can explore and look at, at all the different characters in different ways, and they can just get more layers, and the writers find different things. It's, yeah. it's, been, it's been exciting to, to watch. What I like about our show is that our characters are complicated. Like, Michael Scott isn't always the jerk. Sometimes he's actually a good guy, you know, and sometimes you empathize with him and feel bad for him, even while you're hating him. And uh, I like that our writers give us those kind of layers. And I love that for my character, now having this relationship with Dwight and also Andy, to get to see that she's not just, you know, sort of the stuffy accountant, that, you know, there's, there's more to her. So I, I feel really uh, great about that. This would be a huge coup, people. All right? Do not take no for an answer. Okay. Does anyone actually know what Sue Grafton looks like? I mean, is she hot or? She's crazy hot. Well, then maybe we should just use Angela and say she's Sue Grafton. Would anyone notice? That's not happening. I find the mystery genre disgusting. I hate being titillated. Well, final question. What kind of surprises can you tell us about our backstage secrets uh, regarding this upcoming season, including, you know, the relationship between Jim and Pam? We're all dying to find out how that's going to go. Well, you know, we're uh, we're the lost of the comedy world. This is true. And you're not allowed to know what's uh, under the hatch. Yeah. Uh, we, we got a crazy old guy. We got. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it, we're very. Uh, we, the NBC takes uh, those those things very seriously about the secrets, uh, especially about Jim and Pam. But I can tell you that uh, Jan and Michael's relationship, now that Jan is fired and living with Michael. Yeah. Uh, over the next few weeks, you will see uh, you, you will see, see a little window into their dark, yeah. dark relationship. You get um, to see their home life a little, and it is so crazy <laughs> and a lot of fun to watch. Well, I got to tell you, it is a pleasure meeting the both of you. It is truly one of my favorite shows. I look forward to it every week, and I want to thank you for joining us here on Backstage. Thanks so, Thanks much. so much. Take care.